these are my original set of clones. Only one of them rooted. I did some low stress training on it. And then my second try at cloning, I used Jiffy pellets and I had more luck. So those four took, I just checked up. Um, that one I pulled and it, I pulled and actually checked it. The roots are in there, they're good. They just haven't broken through yet. The three on the outside have done way better. The four clones that didn't take, I just ended up throwing out in the trash. So I've been using these, they're just one gallon power pots. I'm gonna go put the soil mix in and just use this water to saturate it a bit before putting the actual clones and transplanting. So here's a look at the soil I bought. So far it's been doing pretty good. And just use tap water to let it sit outside for 24 hours and clay pots. That's the cutting that I took. I feel like I can bend it, do some low stress training. There's a lot of stuff there to work with. There's only one root, but still. This one has a little bit better roots and will eventually grow to be a little bigger. I might do this one just because it has a better rooting system. I'm not sure though. And this one here, I decided to keep because there's no roots here. The other ones I threw out, as you can see, okay, it does have a little bit of roots going on. As far as transplanting goes, it's pretty basic. Literally just dig a hole big enough for the clone to go in, and as long as the clone is rooted, then it's big enough to transplant. Then once the clone is in, you just backfill and then saturate the soil so it has a nice little environment to start rooting in. So I got this as a leader thing. And I'm gonna use this Kickstart rooting agent. Once the roots are taken, it specifies See it or not? Root cuttings. Two to three milliliters per one liter. Cool. So I'm gonna do the lower end, two milliliters. For the liter. Once I had the clones in the fabric pots, all it was left to do was to saturate the grow medium, lay it on the root more, and they'll be good to go.